Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video from Charles VFX, and today we're going to be creating this effect. Infinite, like, infinite, cuz I am, bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> what the fuck is in this weed, bro? Yes, it's called the invisibility effect from the movie Supercell. And this part belongs to one of my favorite characters in the movie, Taser. There are lots of effects in this movie, an amazing movie, a rated 10 out of 10. If you've not seen it yet, I suggest you go check it out on Netflix. So yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Bro, Taser the ghost, man. The ghost, bro, are you deep in it, man? <laughs> All right, so after you're done recording a video, you open up After Effects. Wait for it to load, and then you open up a new project. Now you import your video, right? Then you create a new comp. So the first thing you're gonna do is mark your background. So I think this is the most steady frame. Control Shift this, I'm going to freeze frame this one. All right, go down to layer, new, no, sorry. Layer time, freeze frame. All right, then you drag this down all the way. All right, so now we have our background. Just rename this to enter background. In case you don't have a still background, you can use Firefly to create a background for you. Or you just have to do use AI, you know, clean up. I, I made a detailed tutorial on that, so you might want to check that. All right, so after doing that, the next thing we're going to do is rotoscope our character. So we'll go immediately, he start coming in. Make sure you don't miss one thing, all right? I think um, this is a tedious process. Um, in case you don't know how to rotoscope too, I made a detailed tutorial also in the early days of my channel. I'll link it down. So I'll just fast forward this clip up. Let's go. All right guys, so this is our roto layer and this is what it looks like. The next thing you're gonna do is Control Shift C to pre-compose this layer and name it your actor roto or whatever you want to call it and make sure you move all attributes after that you add your adjustment layer Control alt y or you can just go down here the new you go down to layer new and adjustments then cut trim out the part you don't want then add the effect called chromatic displacement yes like i said it's a paid plugin from red giant vfx i'll leave the link down in the description for you but actually there's a way to get it though and it's what? Here I come. Oh, here I come. All right, I'll just hold my face. So like I said, you turn your, your displacement layer to the actor roto and increase the displace amounts. All right, you turn up your actor. So you see what you're doing. You increase the displace amount to setting number. So, okay, let's take it to this part. So we we'll see him facially. All right, so I don't know, but I think this is too much because we're going to add some other features, features and details. So this is what is too smooth. All right. So just play with the values so you like what you get or you get what you like. I like to turn this to uh, okay. Display spread. Don't worry. Don't be scared. Just crank up the whole body. All right. So this is what we have it now. But right, like normally this is good and it's done. Like you can go out there with this effect you've got your um invisibility effect from supercell you know if, if you want to get back to your original self what you just do is so we assume that um this layer was not turned off it was on but the opacity was set to zero all right so it's the same thing all right okay so the next thing we're going to do is set a max around him all right use a rectangle tool over here just select your roto comp select this rectangle tool then draw or max down here all right so the next thing we're going to do is animate that max to go upward all right so let's say at this point he's done transforming all right so we'll set a keyframe over there then the next thing we're going to do is bring this downward all right so it comes from down to bottom bottom to up top to bottom Get it? so we have something like this oh i'm sorry the opacity is still turned off all right 
So nothing would have changed really because it's um, the opacity. Even if the opacity is at 100, but I already maxed out my subjects. All right. So this is what we're gonna have. Yes, you can see, you can see that now. Uh, he's revealing himself from um, from the bottom. So the next thing we're gonna do now, as he's doing this, we're taking off the. We're reducing the op opacity of the adjustment layer or just reduce the displace amount or whatsoever you want to animate down here just make sure it goes down to zero at same time in so we have this and this is what it looks like all right but now it's still looking too sharp and all of that you can also do this just take this roto and put it above the layer and this is what we're gonna get now this is way better and i even prefer this one so um but now it's still looking looking sharp so let's get that fedri edge if that's a word fedri edge um go down press f on the rotocomp and fed it this all right now you're seeing um the edge is not as sharp as it was it's not as sharp as it was he walks in that are sharp as it was then the next thing we're gonna add all right to get that to get a um, flowery whatsoever um, we're gonna use roughen edges so you just search for that roughen edges and when we add it you, you see it's already giving it a, a variation a different variation already all right so you just play with these figures right down here play with these values all right um, reduce the okay Increase the fractal influence, of course. Increase the fractal influence. Scale it down. Scale it down. Let me just turn this to full preview so you can see it clearly. Scale this down. And... Okay, reduce the stretch. I think if you're going backward, it's height. And if you're coming forward, it's width. All right, so you take it backward. That's the height. All right, so this is, this is not bad right but it's still we can still add some more stops all right so what we're gonna do is go down to this max feather you know turn of the linkage this is it turn of the linkage and increase the z um value sorry increase the z value and this is what you will get yeah now we get that effect so i can see this edge down here um actually it's because of the border the border here if you reduce this to zero you won't have that anymore so this is what we get all right so we have it revealed you know you can adjust the timing of it with this keyframes down here just play with it all right so as you can see we're done with the effects it's looking um cool enough and now you see that if we place it side by side it's looking more like it all right you can also play with the figures to get what you like crank all this um touch everything just feel free so you get your preferred liking or your scene or whatsoever it is but um, like i said it's going to be an advanced tutorial so i'm going to show you a technique to make it even more cooler all right so let's continue so the next thing we're going to do is create a transition all right we're going to come down here create a new composition and uh Control Y, create a new solid, make sure it's black, okay? Then create another solid, make sure it's white, all right. Then you set up your max tool, your rectangle tool, sorry, and make sure you max the whole of the white solid and take it down. Do this, double click and drag this part down. You set up your max parts, keep framing from the starts till you get to this part, all right? and take it all the way up so we have something like this you can make this longer this is how our transition is going to look like so tases tases clothes like it's growing towards him like it's growing upward so to do that we have to feather this feather our max feather it a bunch so we're going to add what we call roughing edges all right roughing edges just crank this up um, play with these figures the fractal noise okay increase the fractal reduce the scale reduce the scale um, stretch it up okay not so much I'll stretch it up a bit increase the complexity 
a little bit you know just play with these figures but okay this is nice but i want it to be even longer i'll just come down here so then we we'll disable the chain link and increase the vertical one like increase increase this a little bit okay, so we we'll have this all right so this is looking more like it i would still like to crank this all right so this is what i got these are my i hope you can see them so the next thing we're going to do is come out to the main layer and drag our transition okay let's rename it from here i'll drag and add it down here we'll add it at the spots where he starts making his move all right sorry don't forget to turn off the stuff so let's see here and the transition starts coming all right let's just import a new actor all right you put you import a new actor all right set it as same place So when you add the transition layer, you make sure you put it to Luma Matte Transition. All right, so this is what we'll get. You can adjust it to the way you like, all right? Just know this keyframe here, it's the time for the animation, all right? Good, this is what it looks like now. All right, so this is good, this is good. From invisibility down here, all right so the next thing you're going to do is duplicate this transition this boots um actor roto and the transition first up let's change the color so we don't miss it so this is purple and we'll duplicate this all right and we'll change it to green yeah this is good green so now let's add some details like give it some because now it's just coming like let's add some depth to it let's add a fill effect all right you add a fill effect turn it to black then take this down and you can just um offset it a little bit so it comes first so we have this all right now, you, now you've seen that black fill all right it's very cool or instead of that you can also use curves to do it also you just reduce the brightness of the layer above just use curves so this is what we have very cool so the next thing we're going to do now is duplicate this transition again so we can um, work on the transition layer itself so this is it duplicate this and come down here again and duplicate this transition all right this one that has dark whatsoever you duplicate this and then take it upward all right everything's gonna everything is gonna be looking darker now all right because this is a layer that is above all right so the next thing we're gonna do is this fill now you change it to um let's say white no let, let, let's try blue so we use the glow too this is what we have if we try blue all right so now we're going to go inside the transition layer first off let's change this color to let's change it to a yellow all right so now we'll take this down take this down further and we'll be having this remember only offset the transition layer and not the roto layer all right make sure all the roto layer they are in one place you can only offset the transition layers all right so this is what we're having all right it's looking all blue rich and stuff like that all right so the next thing we're going to do is duplicate this transition i've already duplicated it when after you're done duplicating it you hold alt and use it to replace this one alt all right so now we're going to go into this blue transition layer and make it closer like offset it a little bit we're going to duplicate this white solid then change this top layer to black then adjust it a little bit now this is looking way too rough for me so what we're going to do is reduce the feather all right the one we increase the other time we're going to reduce it so it just looks like one thin line in a way so this is what we'll have um 
when you offset it, the bigger it is, or the closer it is, depending. So this is your glue layer, don't forget. And this is what it looks like. All right, so when we go out, we're gonna be having this. All right, this is cool, this is cool. Now this blue is looking way too off. The next thing we're gonna do is add a fractal noise. Sorry, not to the transition layer, but to the axle, to the actor, all right? And this is what it will look like when you add the transition, and when you add the uh, fractal noise, increase the brightness and the contrast a little bit. All right, so there will be some variation and increase the complexity too. You can just adjust some little stuff. So you have this, uh... all right. So the next thing I'm gonna do, turn the blending mode to screen. And this is what we're having. The next thing we're gonna do is come down, come down to the first transition and add turbulent displacement. Turbulent displacement, add it so we'll have something like this. All right, so there'll be this paper like bulge this is what it will look like now not so much just a little all right then we'll add we'll go to transition three all right control alt y all right then add this turbulence displacement here turbulence displacement we're gonna add it to and add it this way increase the amount increase this Okay, then you copy this and paste it in transition 2. So we'll have this. Alright, so after all your adjustments, your stuff is supposed to look something like this. Or something similar, alright? Looking cool, right? Alright, so you can also make further adjustments. Or, or remember, your adjustments should be unique. And yeah, I think this glow should come up a bit. So I think this is the glow layer, so we should do it like this. Remember, don't touch the actor layer, remember? Just touch your glow, just to go so you can go further. Alright, so we have this. Alright. Alright guys, so we come to the end of this tutorial. I just pre-composed all my um, inner transitions, you can see them. I just pre-composed them together so my layer won't look rough. So um, we're done here. Um, I hope you learned a thing or two. Don't forget, you can always go back and make changes, you know, touch um, whatever you feel like, um, make adjustment, but just be careful though. Um, if you wanna move, make sure you always move this um, transition, transition and not the roto. Um, so like I said, you can go back and change any stuff. Like I noticed in the movie, um, Caesar normally goes completely invisible so to, i can also do that you know uh with my displacement layer over here all i gotta do is just keyframe this stuff all right let's just keyframe it and i want him to be here at this point okay let's say at, at this point he's back to himself all right so i can just go back here and uh soften the displacement layer then increase the displacement no reduce the displacement and we'll have something like this it's coming he don't even know it you see that cool right so he's looking more like it he's coming into the scene i can even make it less visible all right oh um, but this is how i like my look all right so you can just touch everything and make sure you get what you want remember links in the description i'll also be making more tutorials on the series supercell um, please this tutorial took me a lot of time to make um, please show some appreciation by giving a like comments and also hit the subscribe button if you're not bro, see you in the next one the ghost, man the ghost bro. are you deep in it bro?